Yeah, we moved here in August 2008. Uh, my family and I, um, my wife's a GP and we came on the back of her sponsored visa. Um, we are still temporary the residents at the moment in the process of we have submitted our application for a, a permanent residency. Very excited for Medicare for the first time last week, so, so that's a good thing. Um, prior to, to coming to Australia, I worked for the First Rank Group, which as you know is a fairly large financial services group in South Africa. Um, I worked there all my, all my life. started at Barclays Bank when it was still Barclays Bank. Um, for FMB, that is, so we're talking way back in 1991. Um, I was a bank manager, so I, I worked all the way through. So I was the old style bank manager when you still had responsibility for lending, you had certain lending discretions, had a branch of 18 staff that I was responsible for way back in 1991. So that was quite a long time ago. From corporate banking, I, I moved into an area called diplomatic services where uh, it was around about 94 when all the nations were coming back into South Africa and uh, I was responsible for liaising between the bank and the foreign missions which was an interesting job um, to say the least you know um, from there on I moved into private banking and, um, I was I ended up before coming to Australia as a divisional manager of RMB private bank and then immediately before coming I was regional head of FB trust services which is the trust company um, obviously, coming to Australia, we all it's a big decision for of us. So I think you you sit down and you you think about that, and you sort of reprioritize your life and where you are and what's what's happening. And I realised up up front that there's no way that I will be employed at a similar level in Australia straight away. Um, a little bit of advice: Australian uh, employers uh, place a very high regard on Australian experience. So the the best advice is to sort of getting in, in a level, even, even although it's at a lower level than what you're used to in South Africa, get into that and start working. You very s soon will sort of find that, I don't know what it is, but opportunities do come around and you will then, you know, gradually sort of claw your way back to where you, where you were in, in South Africa. My mindset in coming across was, for the first six months, I'm going to take it easy, settle the kids down. My wife started working, I mentioned she was sponsored. Um, so she started working from day one. Uh, so I uh, looked after, I was a house, house man, which is a very hard, very hard thing to do. So I, uh, I have a high regard for all the, the housewives out there, it's really a hard work. Um, yeah, so that, that was that. Alright, so what you're saying is there was a mind shift there for you. You came from a corporate environment, having worked in a corporate environment all your life, and then having to come to Australia, you had to make peace with the idea that you're going to spend some time uh, at home, in which you're going to resettle and basically just consolidate what's going on around you before you started looking for uh, for a new opportunity, as you were saying. Yes, is that right? That's, that's right. And and to, and to top it off, just as I was as we came across in 2008, it was a global financial crisis, so many financial institutions worldwide uh, sort of stopped their hiring, um, and, and and that was another factor that when I started looking for a job, made it somewhat more difficult to sort of. Once you get, I mean, the big challenge in coming over to Australia and get and, 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 and is to get to the interview process. What I, I found the uh, employment agents here to be somewhat difficult to get through. I mean, if you can get them and you can get speak to someone and they can put your CV in front of someone, you can get to the interview process. That's more than fifty percent of the battle won. So once you you get to that stage and you're actually able to speak to someone and have an interview, then it's then I think. It's what one has to do is to sort of emphasize the experience and the practicalities of the jobs that you did in South Africa, whereas in, I suppose if you apply for different positions in South Africa, that would be a given, people would know about it. Um, it's not fair to say that although people may know of first rank, they don't necessarily appreciate what it is you did there. So you have to sort of somewhat just put a bit of practical stuff on the scene. So a little bit more detail about what that entailed, your job entailed, you might have been a divisional manager. What does that mean in Australian terms? Is that right? Yes, and also, you know, uh, emphasise the uh, responsibilities that you had and certain targets and and, and the um, performance-driven mentality, etc. Okay.